Hey guys, in today's video we are going to take a look at one of the favorite marksmen for many players. Granger is an absolute beast when playing correctly in solo rank. I will be sharing some tips that might help you improve your Granger's gameplay. These are my builds. In the very late game, I usually replace the jungle item if the enemies have some hero that can one shot me. For example, if the enemies have Ling, Natalia or Claude, I will usually replace it with Wind of Nature. Or if the enemy has a very fed Gushion, then I will replace it with Athena's shield. This is my emblem setup. At the start of the game, buy the jungle item first and then wait in this bush so the enemy don't cut your lane. Then you can take the red buff. When taking the red buff, if you don't think the enemy is going to invade your buff, then you should tank the minion buff, because you don't want your tank to lose a lot of health. The reason I say this is because you are going to take the other small camp after, which will help you regain all your health back. Try to clear the wave as fast as possible, so it gives you more room to farm the jungle or even another lane, which you will see me doing here. Since my middle player decided to gank the top lane, the middle lane is completely free. In order to boost my farming speed, it's a good idea to farm the middle lane too when your teammate is busy ganking the other lane. And once you are done with that, go back to your lane to farm the minion wave. That's how you maximize efficiency. I know there are two enemies in the top lane, so the only surprise element will be Selena. All I have to do is pay a lot of attention to not get stunned by her. You got to think who are the enemy's hero, and see if you are in any danger if they try to gank you. The only way you can get killed by Selena in this position is if you ever get stunned by her. I know the red buff will be up in 15 seconds, so instead of waiting for it, it's better to clear the wave first and not lose any gold or experience. Whenever you play Marksman, try your best to not lose any minion wave. It's really important, especially in the early game. Here I saw that the enemies are completely busy in the middle lane, so I took this chance to take some objectives. Once I saw Uranus top, that means that at most there will be only 3 players from the opposite team that can contest the turtle, seeing Bruno is dead as well. But because I'm really fed, I'm not afraid to fight them in a 3v2 situation. Once again, I just had to make sure not to get stunned by Selena. I can see that the enemy's blue buff is about to respawn, so I'm pinging my teammate to get there next. Fortunately, my team is listening to my pings.
Once again, I'm paying my tank to provide vision, instead of helping me clear the wave. Without vision, there's no way I'll be surprised by a gang attempt. This is a very important skill if you want to improve your win rate in solo rank. If you can macro your teammates properly, you will see that it will become a lot easier to win games. I know it doesn't work all the time, because some teammates don't listen or don't have that game sense, but believe me, it's definitely worth trying. Here I can see that the enemies are distracted in the middle lane again, which gives me all the space to keep pushing, and I have seen this countless times when playing solo. A lot of players are too busy fighting all the time, that they tend to forget that farming and taking objectives are way more important than kills. I'm a bit hesitant about taking a turtle, because most likely they might have 4, ready to contest it. I'm telling my teammates to gather, so we can take it or even start a team fight, because at this point I was confident I was strong enough to kill them all. Ok, now that my teammates are coming, let's bait the enemies to contest the turtle, because I really wanted to fight them. Look, even Uranus can't tank my damage anymore. Honestly, even if Guinevere will have successfully managed to land her full combo, I wouldn't have died. I was way ahead in level and farm. It's an important skill to be able to measure your own strength before ganking or starting a fight. You should check the difference in gold and level. Here you can see them waiting for our tank to go first before approaching the bush. Use your tank as a scout when you are playing a carry role. Let them lead the way. By the way, the first bullet from his ultimate is the most important one. You want to aim it well and make sure it hits, because once you land that first bullet, if the target doesn't have any dash left, then they will be too slow to dodge the rest. Ok, at this point I'm insanely strong, and I'm very confident about this tank, but wait for it. Here we have a 4v2 situation, so the obvious move will be to try to push our advantage further by killing their tank and ADC as well. Here Teresla has ultimate. Our Franco decided to keep attacking the small jungle camp. Not sure what happened to them, but I know this occurred too often when playing solo, and I bet you also experience that regularly as well. But instead of trash talking and flaming them, you can simply try to tell them what was their mistake and hopefully they won't do it again. But at the same time, I also learned from my mistake, which is not to be too confident that my teammate is just going to follow up 100% of the time. And instead in this game, I should still be cautious and let my tank lead the way. One important tip about Granger's passive, as you probably know, his last bullet is a guaranteed critical hit and also deals more damage, so try to combine it with his second skill, which makes his next two basic attacks deal way more damage. Also it will proc the true damage from the endless battle as well, after using the second skill. So when you have the full build, you can literally one shot many squishy heroes with this combo. When taking objectives like the Lord, if you see that there are enemies around, stop mindlessly attacking the Lord and instead kill the enemies first.
Hey guys, I have decided to do a weekly skin giveaway because you guys have been amazing and I truly appreciate that. The prize is 900 diamonds worth of giveaway. All you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment and I will randomly choose one. If you are selected, I will send you a direct message. But please don't leave your ID or the skin you want because I won't be picking those. Thanks and best of luck.